Good morning, everybody. It's the 4th, and if it looks familiar, we're back. Um, 8.20 in the morning. We're going to try to do a quick day, 11 miles, and change into Irwin, Tennessee. Um, <laughs> and see what happens there, because Irwin's kind of full. See if we can find a place to spend the night. Got to find a Walmart. You wouldn't believe how much you need a Walmart every once in a while. I know a lot of people don't like Walmarts. Walmart has a lot of stuff you really need every once in a while. At least you know if you go to Walmart, it's carrying what you're carrying. Morning. Good morning. Oh, now, it might look dangerous standing in the middle of this yellow line here, but we sat here for an hour and a half yesterday. We saw two motorcycles two motor and one car. One car. Yeah. Heavily traveled road. So, we're going up these stairs, we're going back on the trail. We came out there yesterday, right across. There was some trail magic in that white cooler. We showed you that, and we're off. First day of rain, and it's gone. Today. First, yeah, for, we haven't. In five days. Can't complain, the weather's been treating us well these last few days. And actually, it was pouring at about, going up these stairs, trying not to fall on my face. Um, it was pouring up to about an hour ago, maybe. It's colder and it's windy. So, as you can see, we're going past no business. We're going up here towards the Nolichucky River, which is basically into oh. Irwin. Yeah. And we are going north. And we are at Spivey Gap. Enough, I gotta get moving. Okay, this is one of the stranger springs we've seen. I don't know if you can see it, but right in here, that's the water coming out of that hole inside. See it? It's coming running out. And then it di disappears back into the trees right there. Good morning everybody, it's Thursday the 5th. We're at the Super 8 in Irwin. It was quiet and it's really clean. Um, we didn't stay at Uncle Johnny's hostel where everybody usually stays because <laughs> we're trying to, excuse me, get up a little closer uptown. What we're gonna do today is try to show you what we do on a quote unquote zero day. And so, as you can see, came from McDonald's, now we went to Walgreens, now we're going to walk down a couple miles to a food line. It's pretty town. That's what you do. Although, I have to tell you, we're always in a dilemma whether you have a beautiful day like this, you'd rather be hiking because it makes hiking so much better but resupplying in the rain 
is not fun either because sometimes you don't know where you're going exactly and you're walking around aimlessly through a town looking for stuff. But Irwin seems to have everything you need, but it's kind of spread out. everybody. Morning. Hey, it's February 6th. It's a Friday. It is. It is. April 6th. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a little bit like February because we're looking at snow coming. Um, what can we say? February 6th, we stayed at the Super 8 here in Irwin. Good stay, actually. Clean, quiet. And we were able to get some stuff done. Busy day. Zero days are always busy. And it's, um, my time. It's got to be... A little about quarter past seven, so we're getting a good start. Um, we're heading from um, Irwin to Rome, Rome. right? Rome Mountain, yep. uh, the town of, and uh, that's sort of like halfway between here and Damascus, where we the kids have uh, been awesome setting up a, a delivery for us. We're excited because both of our shoes, all of our shoes, are split open and worn down. We, we, we were hoping to get about 500 miles out of a pair, and it's looking like it's going to do that. Yeah, 400 something. Yeah, 400 close. something there. So anyway, we're crossing the Tallahatchie, Tallahoochee something river here in, uh, and uh, we're starting up. We got it. We're shooting for 16 miles today. We'll see how the weather goes. Yes, we will. How you doing, babe? Good. We're on our way. Ciao. See later. We'll see you we're crossing the bridge. I'll shoot some footage there. Somebody over there didn't want to stay at Uncle Johnny's hostel, so they set up their tent. That's a good stay. Somebody down there did the same thing. That is Uncle Johnny's right there on the corner. So that's Uncle Johnny's right there on the corner. Um, very famous hostel. Uh, he just passed away a few weeks ago. We didn't know that. We thought it was longer, actually. And he, uh, his family's taken it over and continued to run it. Um, we were going to stay there, but... We had uh, some stuff we needed to get in town, and this is a strange town. It's it's long, narrow, so we ended up uh, needing to be in downtown. So we uh, stayed up where we could get some more done without walking too far. The sun is peeking up, and the kids are going to school. But Grandma Shorty is not going to school. Woohoo! We're off. Some of these uh, pieces that you do coming out of town are sometimes the most interesting. Uh, because you go through these like little zigzags through areas over railroad tracks and behind buildings. So this one's actually different. It goes beside the railroad tracks. I think we get across the country. Tracks are right there. And that's a working train track. And that in Irwin is known because it's a, it brings in plutonium and converts it into fuel rods for nuclear submarines and nuclear and Navy ships. So it's a big, very secure area right in the middle of Irwin. And uh, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know how they move them. I don't know if they move them by rail. Or, I doubt it. Somebody must know, but uh, that's where they make the fuel rods that make the nuclear navy run. Let's see what's up here. Yellow sign, they must want us to read this sign. So we'll take a look. I don't know. I don't know why you have to tell people do not attempt to climb between or underneath railroad cars. Because, well, it's like the sign I once saw that said, do not provoke bear. Well, I just don't think we should have to tell people don't jump under a railroad car. And if you do, and something happens to you, we have weeded the population 
of one really stupid human being. So, yes, no railroad cars. So listen, Grandma Shorty, yes. look at me. Yes. Do not jump underneath the railroad cars. Okay? Okay. Still, sun hasn't come up over the mountains yet, but look out there, that's the river. We keep following it. It's been quite a while. We're hiking along like a, a rocky ledge here from the river. But look up there. The sun is starting to hit the top of these mountains. Every once in a while we walk along and we've been walking beside a stream all morning. And then you come to this. It's so pretty. You don't even think it's real. And that's that's where the spring comes out, right? There. Yeah. It's uh, a little before 10, before 10. We've gone over four miles, almost five, I guess, I'm somewhere in there. And we're enjoying the good weather well less. Hi, folks, at 12.30. We just left Indian Graves Gap. And I completely forgot to do any videotaping there. And, which is really unfortunate, because we got... Trail magic! Yeah, I think we were just so surprised we didn't videotape it. Uh, I forget everything. Uh, he was a nice guy. He was a missionary. Uh, Glenn, Glenn Mary mission. I don't know. I forget. Uh, Glenn Mary home mission. I don't know. Very sweet. Hot coffee. What'd you get? Sweet tea. Yeah, sweet tea, fruits. You had everything. Share with that. <laughs> Tell them all what that means. It means that you actually can lean back and not fall yeah. over. <laughs> you would never guess how much a tr thrill it is to sit in a chair. So, unfortunately, we did not document it. But today is kind of a work day. For us, we're a little bit goal oriented because as you saw previously it was a beautiful morning but we know that the rain's coming we can feel it in snow they're calling for we'll see so we're trying to get some miles done and uh started about quarter past seven i guess we did eight miles by lunchtime. That's a, That's a record, I guess, yeah. So the trail is a little gnar gnarly, man. It's a little gnarly with these roots. But up the other side, we had some stretches of great trail and some rock slowed us down. But otherwise, we're trying to push through before the weather gets untenable. Uh, so, that's all for now. So I've been climbing out of Indian Graves Gap. Kind of got rewarded with a little bit of unexpected summit. Yes. Digging. That's Grandma Shorty digging ferociously for Skittles. her snack. Skittles. Skittles. Skittles will be on good days. <laughs> I think we just came into the area called Beauty Spot. It's a wide open bald again, which I'm really becoming partial to. And we just came in, but there are views to be had. Check up later. Now it's Friday the 6th. It's about 1. 30 in the afternoon and we are at the beauty spot 355.6 
that's another clearing. Hey folks, we're at 355.6, we're at a place called the Beauty Spot. Now I'm gonna try to zero in down there so you can see that would be Irwin. Remember how I said it was a long town, long and narrow. Oop, my finger just changed the focus, okay. So it starts right down there in the tree line and goes all the way up. Um, so we've been walking around it all day, but uh, there's the view from the summit of the, what's known as the beauty spot. Pretty well named spot. Nice place for a campfire. If you notice, we've been running from the weather for all day. Right now, it's holding off pretty good. And I think we're going that way. Grandma eating more Skittles. She's having a Skittle day. And there is a parking lot up here. So I guess you could drive up. But no, we walk. Yeah, check that out, huh? Blue sky, it's uh, almost two o'clock. Um, one thing that you develop out here is a thankfulness for every hour of blue sky on a day that they are predicting what? Rain by four. Rain by four. So it's two. So it's not four, but it's blue sky at two. So we're pretty happy about that. Yes, we are. We are. And the trail's looking pretty good. It's that trail at the top of, I think it's Unica Mountain. Kind of strange feeling. Strange feeling forest area. And we can feel the weather closing in behind us. Hey everybody, it's quarter six. We're at yet another location on the Appalachian Trail called Logan oh, yeah. <laughs> It's not very original, but when they're up there and here, and up there and here, they call these low gap. But this is low gap at uh, mile 359.8, uh, which means we did uh, 16 miles today. We started, hello. Hello. We eat Skittles fiddle. Uh, we're just cooking some food up over there. Um, we did about 16 miles. It's starting to rain. Just felt it, which is great. We're all set up. So that worked perfectly. So uh, we're going to eat and climb into the tent and prepare for Ucky Day tomorrow, but we're safe and sound tonight. So here we are. This is how you spend the evening <laughs> on the trail in the tent in the rain. We barely swallowed down supper. We got it. We did it. <laughs> and the rain started. Um, but we made it. Uh, we we're dry getting in. So this is what life is like. How are you? Good. I'm reading Sherlock Holmes. The complete yep. works downloaded. Mm -hmm. um, internet's always weird in these areas. Like for a second we had both of us at it, mm -hmm. and then it went away. So uh, we'll give you a little tour. So this is our tour. Those are our, what, vestibules? Mm -hmm. I want to call them dog houses. Always have. Um, but the vestibules. So you can see there's like a little area of storage, storage stuff out there. Um, volume room. I have my stuff stored out there. And a uh, little clothesline up top. And that's our uh, nightlight. That's my light, flashlight if I need it at night. 
hang out the socks to air out. So uh, it's actually uh, pretty comfortable. It's dry. So uh, it's supposed to be ugly weather coming up, but uh, for now, <laughs> for now, <laughs> we're okay.